The Dynamic Trio presents Management at Prime Focus, Inc. So to begin, we're going to introduce the three main areas we have worked on as a group, which make up our purpose. First, to distinguish fact from myth. To show there is no folklore in management, actually, Manager's work involves performing a number of regular duties. Second, to demonstrate the classical decision-making model properly. This includes seven crucial steps. One, identifying decision situations. Two, develop objectives and criteria. Three, generate alternatives. Four, analyzing alternatives. Five, selecting an alternative. Six, implementing the decision. And finally, seven, monitor and evaluate the results. And third, how to deal with troublesome employees and effectively mediate and resolve the situation. Now, let's take a look at the background of the business. Prime Focus Inc. is a tutoring company that's based in St. Petersburg, Florida. The company was founded in 1985 by Jane Smith, who is the current company manager. Jane was inspired to create Prime Focus after her daughter struggled with reading in the first grade. Jane knew she needed more external learning. Now, Prime Focus is one of the leading tutor centers on the west coast of Florida. This is due in part to the managers and employees who strive to create a rich learning environment day in and day out. Now, let's take a look at some of the employees and customers who make Prime Focus Inc. what it is today. Jane is the manager at Prime Focus and started the company herself. Jane is very efficient and well organized when it comes to her job. Jane is described as ethical, well organized, resourceful, and respectful. These traits represent a manager with strong ethics, Ethics is a huge part of management. Managerial ethics is described as the study of morality and standards of business conduct. Jane has built prime focus based on the values that have been previously stated. Based off the three episodes regarding prime focus, it is safe to say the company uses the universal approach for ethical decision making. The universal approach occurs after choosing a course of action that you believe can apply to all people under all situations. Or in other words, treat every person the way you would treat yourself. The universal approach is depicted in episode 2. Prime focus needs a new computer system, and Jane treats everyone's opinions equally the way she would want hers to be. John, who is a tutor at Prime Focus, specializes in general studies teachings. John takes his job very seriously and is passionate about helping others learn their subject material. John does call in at the last minute on occasions and takes vacation time at peak times, such as near an exam date or standardized test. However, all of his students are well equipped to take these tests prior to the student's exam dates. John is described as professional, passionate, attentive, and is a great problem solver. John assists in developing action plans, implementing plans, and monitoring outcomes. All three of these are key in the planning process. The development of action plans are described as what the organization will do to accomplish the objectives it has established. June is the accountant for Prime Focus and is very loyal to the business. She has been with Jane since day one and is trusted by everyone at the firm. 
She is somewhat nosy around the office. However, that does not affect her performance. June takes active roles in the planning of the company, and she is known for her hard work, analytic skills, and loyalty. June assists in developing action plans, implementing plans, and monitoring outcomes. All three of these are key in the planning process. The development of action plans are described as what the organization will do to accomplish the objectives it has established. Julie is the housekeeper and only works part-time. She likes her routine and does not accept change. She is currently seeking a degree and is offered a full-time position upon achievement since she is bilingual and Prime Focus does not currently have a full-time foreign language tutor. Jake is a middle school student and attends Prime Focus for tutoring in reading. He is an easy learner and gets along with his tutors. Jake represents our customers. Jake is actually one of the first students who has completed a customer satisfaction survey for Prime Focus. Jane wants the very best at Prime Focus and she believes that management responding to the customer's wants and needs and possible complaints will overall benefit Prime Focus for now and in the future. Stay tuned, Prime Focus episodes are up next. In episode one, Jane is swamped with tasks to complete for the day. She needs to cover employee shifts attend meetings, hold a ceremony, and more as the manager of Prime Focus. Throughout Jane's affairs, the concept of fact versus folklore of management was demonstrated in this video. This episode proves how managerial work involves performing a number of regular duties, as cited in Hit, Black, and Porter. Jane has to complete multiple tasks throughout the day. They range from a variety of different things. Some examples include being a face for a prime focus and being held responsible for ensuring every job is being completed. Folklore. An effective boss has no regular duty. Fact, manager's work involves performing a number of regular duties. Jane is the manager of Prime Focus. Today, Jane found out that John called in sick, so she has to tutor John's students today. Also, June, the accountant, is on vacation, so Jane, the manager, has to make sure the books are okay today. Later on in the day, Jane has, um, is gonna be taking a meeting with Julie, the cleaning lady, to discuss new cleaning equipment. Later on in the day, Jane, the manager, will be giving out certificates to Jake, the student who just finished his tutoring. In episode two, Prime Focus is due for a new computer system. Jane asks her employees for their help in the planning and decision making regarding the new system. Each character plays an important role in the process. In this episode, we expand on the planning process. This process is centered on developing action plans, implementing plans, and monitoring outcomes all of which are demonstrated throughout this video. Developing action plans occurs when John and June set out on their mission to find a new computer system. 
deciding which is best, then deliver their results. Implementing plans is shown through John's willingness to teach Jake the new system. Lastly, implementing plans is displayed through each character commenting with their opinion on the new system. We need a new computer system. John and June, I need you guys to help. Yeah, our computers are slow and we need something better for our students. Yeah, and I would really like something that would work with my accounting programs better. And we need almost about 10 full new pieces. John and June, can you guys go check out some new systems and tell me about them? Oh, sure, not a problem. We'll bring you back all of the information. Thanks, John and June, for helping pick out computer system A. Oh, I hate computers, but it's really nice that Jane taught me how to use this one. <sighs> now I have to train our little buddy Jake, our, our student, on the computer. I wonder if he likes it. No, I don't like this computer system. I like the other one, but that's okay. Lastly, in episode three, Jane is informed one of her employees will be late to work today. This seems to be something they have been doing very often. Jane needs to make a decision on how to handle the situation correctly. Jane has many options, but she needs to remain professional and ethical. Jane uses the basic approaches to ethical decision making throughout this episode when she decides how to handle her employee's mistake. By assessing the human resources Jane has, she can maximize the performance of her employee by designating a new position for a valued employee who is having difficulties not related to her job. Ring, 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 ring. Hi, this is Julie. Can I talk to Jane? This is Jane. What's going on? I'm going to be late again. I'm really sorry. I won't be there for another hour and a half. Okay, Julie. <sighs> Julie's always late lately. I wonder what's going on. I know school's hard and all, but really. John overhears the phone call and complains to Jane, the manager. Our rooms are always a mess, and she's always showing up late. What's going on? Yeah, she is. She's really terrible, June says. Jane now has to decide if she's going to fire Julie. I wonder what's going on. <gasps> Julie, it's so nice to see you. You got here a little earlier. We need to talk. Listen, I've been thinking about it, and I know you're under a lot of stress in school. But I've talked to Jean, or John and June, and they kind of said that you're not doing your job too well either. That's okay. We kind of thought of a new idea for you. Since you're in school for teaching, maybe you can help assist John and June in the classroom. It'll also help because I'm hoping to start a bilingual um, tutoring. How would you like that? Oh my gosh, Jane, that would be fabulous. Thanks, I'll take that. One month later, Jane is really happy because now Julie is working wonderfully as a tutor. We as a group have found this course to be very interesting and informative and have enjoyed working as a group on our projects using social media. This course has shown us many aspects of management that we did not know existed and how management can change the course of an organization's direction and goals. Through the modules, milestones, TV episodes, and reflections, we were able to expand our knowledge to a higher level. Our team worked together great we all stayed focused on the task at hand, 
and we were able to execute all of our assignments thoroughly and efficiently. We have all learned a tremendous amount of new information regarding management that we cannot wait to apply to our future jobs and experiences.